So uh, the other day I was having a discussion with a friend of mine on cooking outdoors and cooking outside and just all the different things that I've got and ways I've come up with cooking uh, outdoors and uh, the fun gadgets and toys that uh, I like to go along with that. So when we were talking I thought I'd start putting something together and looking at what I actually have to cook outside. First, like most people are right I just got the... Uh, Normal everyday backyard barbecue grill. Uh, buy them anywhere. This one's from Char Broil. I added a uh, thermometer to the face of it so I can control temperature a little bit better. And then this spring I also upgraded to uh, some cast iron grates, which uh, ever since I've been using those and cooking on those, I like them a lot better than just the plain wire ones that's like, like that's on this warming rack here. So when I'm cooking outside, I mean, I used a lot of different methods, and uh, propane's one of them. I uh, recently was helping my mom clean out a uh, shed in her backyard and found these two old propane tanks. Uh, that one over there is not so old. That's a newer one. But this one and another one were old, and they have the uh, old-style fittings on them. And uh, so I found on the Internet this little nipple that conversion that I've screwed in there, and so I can now use the... Uh, uh, current attachment so that propane that's in there doesn't need to go to waste. I don't know how long she had them in there. One of the bottles was manufactured in 1986. We're now in 2013. I don't know the last time they uh, filled that up, but that's the great thing about propane. It doesn't go bad and you uh, can just keep on using it. So I bought that fitting. I'll be using up those two bottles. Then I'll take it to one of those propane exchange places and swap it out for a full bottle for about 20 bucks. So that'll work out well. Well, I've also uh, turned into somewhat of a cast iron junkie as uh, time's gone by. So uh, let's kind of see what iron pots uh, I have to play with. Here's just a 12-inch uh, deep and a regular 10-inch one. That's They're sitting in a, uh, it's actually an old uh, charcoal barbecue grill that I cut the legs short. We use that here at home in the backyard, uh, also camping. Uh, keeps it up off the ground. I can run coals in there if we ever have... Uh, Camping in fire restriction areas, which happens around here uh, often in the summer, then we can still keep cooking. Uh, also with the outdoor uh, camping ones, I've got uh, this old pot. It's a 12-inch deep as well. This one I found uh, in a neighbor's yard after they had moved away. And it was up against a fence overgrown with weeds, completely covered in rust. I had to pry the lid open. The inside was full of... Oh, liquid cesspool, food sewer, basically. It was so gross, so disgusting. It took me several days to uh, get it washed out, cleaned up, scrubbed all the rest off it, wire brushes, power, tr power drills with wire brushes, the whole nine yards, seasoned it a few times, and uh, we've been using it. It's good as new. That's the great thing about cast iron. Um, this skillet here, this is the first piece cast iron I ever got. Uh, we were renting an old house that was built oh well over a hundred years ago and I uh, found this in an old shed actually buried in sawdust and I did the same thing with this. This is my first cast iron project. I scrubbed all the rust out of it, seasoned it and I've been using this one here now for oh probably 14-15 years now. Uh, I bought this skillet here when the uh, Winter Games were in Salt Lake City, Utah in 2002 has a little commemorative logo on the back. It's just another nice skillet. That one's the perfect size. We do a lot of cornbread in that one. Uh, a couple other skillet additions now are uh, these grill pans. Uh, just got this one here recently. Uh, used it, filled the house up with smoke like crazy, but sure made a damn good steak. And this one I just found at a thrift shop for a buck and a half. Uh, still in the process of getting that one ready to cook with, but uh, that should work out well. Uh, last fall, I bought this little guy here. It's called a poiki pot, and it's a traditional pot from South Africa. It's kind of cool. It's got this little detachable wood handle that comes with it, and a uh, rounded base. Uh, I've got paper towels and all these for storage, so it kind of fell in the way. But it's really neat. You use it a little bit different than you do uh, 
these other Dutch ovens, you don't put uh, any coals or ashes or uh, charcoal on the top. You just put the whole thing, uh, fill it with meat and vegetables, put uh, some liquid in there and your seasonings, put the lid on it, set it right on the fire, and just let it go. And uh, we've done some roast in there with vegetables. Works out absolutely fantastic. Uh, this guy here we'll take a look at a little bit later. It came with a Camp Chef uh, three burner propane stove that I just bought. It's pretty cool. Haven't used it yet. Haven't used the stove yet. But uh, in fact, it's so new, it's still got the brochure inside. But the uh, lid also doubles as a grill pan as well, which is kind of a cool little thing. Uh, a couple others that are stovetop use, just this big round pot here. Uh, use it on the stovetop or with a tripod. I don't have a tripod yet, working on that. We'll get one soon. And this little guy here, this little two quart one. Uh, so far, all I've made on that on the stove is uh, popcorn, which now my kids think is the best popcorn in the world. Uh, last year, I uh, restored an old cast iron pot for a friend of mine. Uh, she said her mom always made popcorn in it. She's been making it for her kids, and they love it too. So I decided to make it, and uh, my kids have become Dutch oven popcorn addicts as well. Uh, okay, here we go. Stick with the pots. Uh, this one here, I've never used outside. I brought it out. This is part of my uh, cast iron collection. I use this one pretty much exclusively in, uh, in the house, in the oven, especially a lot in the wintertime when I want to do uh, roasts or things like that, whole chickens. That uh, works out really well. Sometimes uh, when the weather's not good, I can fiddle around and play with uh, recipes uh, that I want to try outside in the Dutch oven. And I can do it in this, and I can get that uh, cast iron feel for it. Uh, these are fun when you're camping or if you're out fishing, hiking, you're doing just a little campfire. Uh, these, uh, oh shoot, what are they called? These pie irons, that's it. Uh, we've got the uh, single size one and then the double size one over there. I cook chicken in those, hot dogs, make little sandwiches, grilled cheese. Use them on the open fire. We've used them on the camp uh, or on the uh, propane stove, even at home, just to play with them and have fun as well. And then no outdoor camp cooking uh, accessory. A kit would be complete with a, got a couple of uh, weenie roasters, marshmallow holders, whatever you want. Uh, any camping trip is uh, not complete until you've roasted some marshmallows and uh, made some s'mores. Almost forgot some of the uh, accessories that go along with this. Uh, work with the Dutch ovens, obviously a good pair of gloves. Those are just some welder's gloves. Uh, some tongs, lid lifter, this little foldable shovel. That works out really well if I'm uh, open fire cooking to shovel uh, wood coals around. And, uh, trivet to hold the lid, cleaning brushes, things like that. Also, all my uh, camping Dutch ovens get stored in their own individual bags to help keep them protected, less likely to rust. Well, here's the item that started that whole discussion with my friend uh, about uh, items to use to cook outside. Recently bought this, it's a Camp Chef Denali 3X, a three burner propane stove. It's the one that this uh, square cast iron pot we looked at earlier came from. Uh, you can see it's so, so new, it's still got the tags on it, I haven't used it yet. Hopefully be doing that soon. Uh, as far as other uh, gas stoves that we have to cook with, we have a nice little assortment of uh, just your regular camping stoves. This is uh, Coleman that uses the uh, propane bottle. It's probably the uh, camp stove we've used the most uh, in the past. Uh, camping and uh, things like that for all sorts of uh, different types of food outside uh, in the campground. Also this one, this was fun, I found this at a uh, thrift store. It's from a company called Camp Cook and I took it and cleaned it, took it all apart, took all the uh, everything apart on it, kind of restored it. Haven't lit it up yet, I'm still trying to uh, fashion a, a plunger seal out of leather. I tried one out of rubber and that was uh, a no-go so we'll fire this up. I did some research online as best I can uh, find out. This is originally oh somewhere in the mid 60s. 
uh, and it, it that uh, green tank, this is before they were required to go to the red tank, so uh, I kept it with the original green color on the tank, and it uses the uh, white gas or the, uh, the liquid stove fuel, uh, like this other old Coleman stove does. I picked this up at a thrift store for five bucks as well. I haven't got around to uh, cleaning and refurbishing it, but uh, that is going to be coming up on the list of things to do. And we'll fire that one up and see how it works. Also, as far as our little stoves go, we've got this uh, little single burner. This uses those uh, little butane bottles on it. It's just one burner, but it fires up quick and easy and burns hot. nice thing about this one is, is we can actually use it indoors. So if we have a power outage and it's cold and we don't want to cook outside, we can actually use this uh, inside the house. This is uh, one we take camping with us a lot too. It also is good to go to uh, the park or something else. This is just a uh, little miniature barbecue grill. It runs on the uh, propane cylinder as well. Uh, cook lots of hamburgers and steaks and hot dogs on this thing. That works really well. Over here, uh, my little uh, Brinkman smoking grill, the uh, El Cheapo smoker. It's not a great smoker, but uh, it does just fine for me. I also use it as a charcoal grill. I bring the uh, charcoal bowl up to where the uh, water bowl usually sits and use that as a charcoal grill. And then uh, if you're squirting lighter fluid on your charcoal, uh, you should get one of these chimneys. They work great. They fire up the charcoal really quick and gets it going right away. So here's uh, the basis of uh, what we've got for our outdoor uh, cooking utensils. And there's uh, my dog Monty taking a nap in the shade. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day.